Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about what is hard work and how do you define that yourself? I remember when I was 18 years old, I will never forget this moment. This is something that has stuck with me. And it's something I think about a lot. I probably think about this more than I should. But when I was 18, I remember my freshman year of playing college soccer, we were doing this fitness drill and I remember I was just like super tired. I was looking at all my teammates. Everybody was dead. And our assistant coach, he was this Scottish guy. He was just this really tough coach. But the toughest coach I've ever seen. The toughest, definitely the toughest coach I've ever had. And I remember we were all breathing, huffing and puffing, tired, dead tired. And he goes, you think you're tired? You think this is hard work? He goes, look that way. And there was this part of, there was like this facility that was uh, being built out on our campus. And he goes, look at those guys. He goes, they've been here since five o'clock this morning working. And it was these guys that were doing like masonry work. They were doing, some were doing roofing and they were working. It was like this construction project. And I remember it was so hot outside and we'd only been in practice for like an hour at that point there were guys that were doing like cement work and it was this whole crew and these guys were like out there evidently he said all day and we were doing our practice around 5 p.m when it was really really hot and this was in uh, memphis tennessee when this happened and i remember when he said that it made me feel like man like why am i complaining these guys have been out here for 12 hours melting in the sun lifting soup like really heavy things and working like dogs and i'm out here with a dry fit on sweating and when, i remember when he said that that really stuck with me because i didn't know what hard work meant when i was 18. and i think that was probably the first time where i really saw like I'd worked really hard as a kid to be good at soccer, but I never knew that level of work of just waking up early, staying outside all day, working until the job gets done and doing that day in, day out every single day. And that's what these guys were doing. And I remember the next month, I would always like look over there at the end of the practice and I'd see these guys, like they're just chipping away at the project. They were out there all day. And as I graduated, when I graduated college, I remember that very vividly because I would try to, you know, when I was starting my business, I would, I thought I would worked hard. And you know what? I did work hard at the beginning, but there was a whole new level of work that I could put in. And I remember thinking about those guys that, and you know, in the middle of the summer, they were just working their tail off and that always made me remember that, you know, if I'm working hard helping kids, that's like so easy compared to what other people do in, in other jobs. And, you know, if I don't want to do a video, if I don't want to write a newsletter, if I don't want to go message someone on Instagram, I always think about those guys. And I think they showed up and they did the job no matter what, no matter what the weather was like, no matter how they were feeling, they clocked in and they put in the work no matter what. And by seeing that, that taught me something that I really practice today, which is consistency. It's, it is doing the job no matter what. Doing the job no matter what. And that doesn't mean I'm perfect with it, but I always, I always remember that. And that stuck with me because now I know like, there are different levels of work. There are, there, there are people who claim to work hard. There are people that do work hard. And normally the ones who kind of work in silence, those are the people that, that you want to be around. They're not on Instagram talking about how hard they work. They're not showing off their work. They, they let their work do the talking. And that's something I've tried to do. And I've tried to lead others by, you know, through example of just being consistent day in, day out. 
And I want you to remember this story because if you ever feel like you're having a hard day or you think that you've worked really hard for a week, it could be so much worse. Like you have no like you have no idea and I have no idea. Like some of the stuff that people do to make a living is so much harder physically, so much harder mentally um, than training kids. And we have it really easy. And again, you can be one of those people that is complaining about the work that you have to do, or you can embrace it and love it and be like, man, I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to work hard on this thing. And also, how lucky are you to be able to work day in and day out in this industry? I mean, that's such a blessing to be able to have that in the first place. And you know what? You should work really hard. You should work hard every single day to make what you do better. And pretend you're like one of those guys like <laughs> that is out there all day, every day, putting in the work and getting the result and doing the work until it gets done. Now, am I saying that you need to work 17 hours per day? No, because a lot of what I teach coaches, it's about streamlining their business and working smart. Like, But you have to work hard. That is something that a, a lot of people just don't get. They, they think that posting to Instagram is working hard. That is not working hard. All right, I'll, I'll be clear. Anyone can post Instagram. Well, who's, who's gonna post Instagram multiple, multiple, multiple times? Who's gonna do outreach? multiple, multiple, multiple times per day? Who's gonna write the emails? Multiple, multiple, multiple times per week. Creating the content videos all the time. Most people can't do that. Because when work gets a little bit hard, they shut down. And when they shut down, nothing happens and all the momentum stops. All right, so I wanted to share that with you today. That stuck with me and I'm glad I saw that when I was 18. And I know now, like there are so many different levels to, to work and you got to work hard. I think that is expected to be successful. Um, but it's one of those things. You, you don't have to go talk about how hard you work. You don't have to go prove it to other people how hard you work. You just need to do it. All right. And the only person you need to prove it to is yourself. You don't have to prove it to other people. You just need to prove it to yourself. And that is done through just taking daily action and not being distracted. And that to me is what makes a successful person. It's someone who finds joy in the work that they do. They love working hard and they can work hard every single day on something because they love it. And they have the privilege to do it and they're gonna do it no matter what. And that's what I'm all about. And uh, I hope you resonate with that. That's it for today's video. Keep working hard and, and you never know how far you can take something if you do it every single day, day in, day out uh, during the week. See you later.